don't expect it to start so soon, you see, because some of the people who are supporting the bill, and in fact, the bill itself talks about protecting LGBTQ persons against behavior like that, against lynching. Am I correct? However, the difficulty, and that's what we're trying to point out, when you frame people and you dehumanize them because of their difference, you encourage a certain kind of atmosphere that makes it easy for things like that to happen. The, the people who attacked uh, the supposed um, gay person are doing something against the law because we know that you cannot take the law into your own hands. People have prejudices, people have biases, and we know that. And that's why it's a bit difficult to, to have a law that infringes on people's human rights like we have set out in our memorandum and at the same time say, but don't do anything to these people. Even the police who are supposed to deal with this issue have their prejudices and biases. And nobody is saying that they shouldn't. We all have our prejudices and our biases. But we also live under a constitutional democracy. We also live in a country of laws. And the law does not allow you to take uh, uh, to attack people because of their sexual difference or because they are engaging in a practice you don't want. Now, if that man was molesting an underage child or even uh, 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 molesting somebody without the person's consent, of course, there are provisions in the, uh, in the law to, to take care of that. If a heterosexual person molests uh, somebody, or if a heterosexual person attempts to have sex with an underage, there are provisions in the law to deal with that. So you see, these are the dangers we're talking about. We're being vilified um, all over the place, as though we don't have a right to uh, submit memorandum to parliament pointing out the dangers of the bill. Please allow us to have a civilized debate to educate people not only about the practices, but also about the implications of how we want to deal with it. So for us, our problem is the implications of how you want to deal with something we disagree with. So the churches disagree with homosexual behavior, uh, the, the mosque uh, the Islam disagrees with homosexual behavior. That's fine. Individuals in Ghana disagree with homosexual behavior. That's fine. It's their prerogative to disagree with it. But how do we then deal with it? And we are arguing that dealing with it in this manner raises more questions for us than solves a situation.